These are the finds off the spoil heap so far. I've got two buttons which I've cleaned up just enough so you can see their basic structure. This one is a greyish silverish colour underneath and you can see it's completely plain, no decoration at all and annoyingly there's no lettering on the back. So I would guess this is a small simple button of the kind that could be worn by anybody from the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries. This one's similar, it's got, it's got a yellow metal coating, maybe gilding, on its front. On its back, tantalisingly, you can see something that is going to end up being lettering and that will probably say something like Furmin and Co Limited, one of the big 19th century button makers, probably made in Birmingham. But until I get that under a microscope, I can't read it. It's nice. But it's not the oldest thing in this group of finds. This is really remarkable. Not what I was expecting. It's a very corroded little copper alloy mount from a strap. You tend to get them in sets along a narrow strap. They're known as bar mounts because there's a contemporary reference to belts being barred. Um, and you can see the construction of it here. It's a flat plate with a separate copper alloy plate that's been formed into a semicircle and it'll have been attached with a rivet that I can't quite see there and it is medieval and it's uh, probably 13th or 14th century. So what it's doing here I don't know but of course Newmarket was a flourishing town from 1200 or so so um, it's probably related to that.